I was pregnant with Timmy in the Philippines, and I had had amoeba, which is quite serious. It's the leading cause of death in the Philippines, and I was very dehydrated, very sick. When I went to the doctor where we lived, she advised me that I needed to have an abortion. We already had four children, and I just prayed, uh, said, God, if you uh, want another preacher in this world, give him to me and I'll raise him. Uh, we thought we'd lost the baby about four times. He's a miracle baby, and so we have reminded him that hundreds of times. Well, my priorities in life are number one, uh, my faith in God. Um, number two, my family and my relationships with my family. Um, number three is academics, and number four is football. You know, if those get jumbled around and you get the wrong one first, you know, you could have a lot of problems. For me, you know, trying to stay grounded, you know, that's the best way to do it is have your priorities and try to live by them. Character, uh, character is. Uh... I mean, he's about as good as you can have. I mean, he's a, a strong Christian. He believes in all the right things. He treats women with respect. He's a, a guy that you want around your family. He's an impeccable character. Through everything that I do in football, in school, and just living, you know, I want people to see that in me. I don't just want to be another guy who, who, who's walking down the street. I don't want to see when people see me, they say, hey, there's something different about this guy. And that's because he has a relationship with Jesus Christ. I think he is more of a legend on campus in some people's eyes because they, they see this mythical figure, Tim Tebow, the guy who performs on Saturdays, who can dive into the end zone, who can run over tacklers and um, do unhuman-like things. And so they think of him as an unhuman-like person. And scripture says what is desirable in a man is his kindness. And so we just love that quality about Timmy. It's real precious to us. A guy that good and, and, and almost too good to be true is always a focus, not just of opponents, Kirk, but also opponents, fans. He, there's got to be a flaw. There's got to be a flaw well, for Tebow, right? Well, let's get to the bottom of it. Have, jaywalking? Have you, I mean, <laughs> have you ever ran a stop sign? I mean, anything? We all have our mistakes, that's for sure. You just talked about your faith being number one, family number two, academics number three, football number four. We've all seen your passion for number four. I can't imagine one, two, and three. <laughs> well, I had a strong family and a family that, you know, put the right priorities in front of me when I was young. A dad who, who put character in front of me and lived it out daily. And, you know, a mom who taught me uh, scripture verses every day. And brothers and sisters who I got a chance to watch grow up in front of me. And I got to just follow in their footsteps. You're a hero not only on the campus but in the state. I don't know if I've ever seen a player affect a team and a stadium the way you did last year and you did this year. But you're the most humble guy I've ever met. What's the key to that? Well, you know, God gave me the ability to play football, and I'm just trying to go out there and honor him with it and just be as passionate and enthusiastic about it as I can. Uh, you know, it's Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Oberfell, and in a moment, on behalf of the Heisman trustees, I will be announcing the winner of the 73rd Heisman Trophy. First, though, congratulations to the finalists on their outstanding achievements and the way in which they've represented college football. John Heisman was credited with great innovation in football. He'd be proud to see you're continuing that tradition. One of you tonight will join the elite Heisman fraternity. These gentlemen standing behind me are ready to welcome you in. From now on, your name will be followed by the words Heisman Trophy winner. Without further ado, the winner of this year's Heisman Trophy is Tim Tebow. Thank you. I'd just like to... 
<laughs> first start off by thanking my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who gave me the ability to play football and gave me a great family and a support group and great coaches and everything around me. That's how I'd like to start off. And, you know, I'd like to thank the Heisman Trust and everybody here uh, for their support and voting for me. Um, thank you. I'd like to thank my teammates back at home. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here, and I'm accepting this trophy on behalf of them because, you know, we think about it as a team award, and I'd like to thank all my receivers, Percy Harvin, Bubba Caldwell, Lewis, and, and Cooper, and my linemen, you know, and Drew, and Jim, and Jay Watt, and Metter, uh, Pouncey, all those guys, Tony, and everybody on the defense, and you know, all my running backs, everybody on the team, I want to thank you. You know, I love you guys. I want to thank everybody back at the University of Florida, uh, all the fans. I love Gator Nation. I love being a Gator. Uh, uh, most importantly, I want to thank my coaches and family. Uh, Coach Meyer, thank you for giving me a chance to play for University of Florida. I love you. I love being a Gator. Uh, Coach Mullen, thanks for teaching me everything I know as a quarterback. Uh, I'd like to thank my high school coaches, Coach Howard. I'd like to thank Coach Mickey Marotti, uh, my, my strength coach. Thank you uh, for instilling discipline in me and a work ethic and toughness to keep going. And i like to thank my family, uh, my mom and dad, my dad who would teach me work ethic every day growing up, my mom who has instilled in me so many great characters and you know, my brothers and sisters, uh, Christy, Katie, Robbie, Peter, and then Gannon and Joey, my brothers-in-law. Uh, Y'all are great role models to look up to. Uh, you know, and then I just got to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, again. I'd like to thank Jeremy Foley and Bernie Matchin, the athletic director and president of the University of Florida. You know, I, I love being a Gator. I love you, Gator Nation. <laughs> and when I go back to University of Florida, we're going to have fun. And then I'd like to thank my competitors, Colt Chase and, and Run DMC. You know, I love getting to meet all y'all. Y'all are great. We had a great time together. And I'm just thankful to be here. And thank God again. Thank you all. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Tim, congratulations. Come on over here. I, I know you still got the, the right hand in a cast, but she's going to come up before the bowl game. Can you lift this, this uh, guy with, with just uh, one hand? It, it's not too hard now. <laughs> 25 pounds of bronze, but it, uh, it, it carries a lot of weight. I saw the big embrace from, from, from Danny Werfel when you came up the stage. As a little kid, watching him win the 1996 Heisman Trophy, coached by Steve Spurrier, the Gators. What, what does it mean to, to join that guy's club? It means a lot. You know, when, when I was young, my, my mom and my family were looking for good role models for me, and they picked out Danny Werfel, and we fell in love with him. We loved watching him, and how he, you know, more importantly, how he handed off the field with his character and integrity and his humility. And you know, He's a great, great role model for me, and I just want to thank him for for that because you know uh, just watching him you know gives me an opportunity to, to look at someone and try to do it the right way like him talked about your life journey and the incredible uh, beginning to your life and the long odds you had to overcome in uh, your first few months uh, have you had a chance to have this all uh, sink in and, and really realize how, how fortunate you are to, to play football much less win the Heisman yeah you know, I am fortunate I'm fortunate for a lot of things God has truly blessed me and yeah you know, I'm blessed with so much stuff and you know this just it just adds on and I'm just thankful and you know it's an honor and I'm just so happy to be here and Kirk mentioned you already had a, a pretty big bullseye you were a target of opponents before that's going to increase now beginning with the bowl game against Michigan you are the first freshman or sophomore to win this award. Have you thought about uh, what that might mean for you as you go back on the field next season? Well, it means a lot. There are a lot of great players who are, you know, played and had great seasons as freshman and sophomore. And so it's an honor uh, to be the first one to accomplish that. And, you know, it, it'll be fun getting, you know, a chance to get back on the field with Michigan. All right, let's go to uh, the course of Kirk Herbstreit for their final comments. Well, obviously uh, an emotional night, Chris, for, for Tim Tebow and his family. And one of the things, I don't, I don't know, you think about ambassadors yeah. oh. for this award. You think about ambassadors for college football. I don't know if you're going to find a better guy than Tim Tebow. You know, I'm in awe of this show. You know, I don't care about anybody else, but I think this is the classiest thing that ESPN does. And I am so proud to play a small part of it. And I don't know if we've ever had a better winner for college football and life than Tim Tebow.